Okay, this how-to video is gonna go through some, some DFM, Design for Manufacture uh, pad rules. So looking at acid traps and, and angles that don't go into the pad at correct angles, etc. So we've got a few options here for what we can do inside the Cadence PCB tools. So we're gonna cover all of those different options for you now. So just by default when we're routing, so we'll just take a, a, a connection point. I'm gonna route out of this pad. You can see here, um, there's something that kind of snapping to stopping me from having coming out at at least a decent angle stops me coming out of funny angles. Um, this is called the enhanced pad entry mode. It uses the same net dr same net spacing distance to kind of allow me to come have an allowable value. Um, I can do a right click and disable that. And what that does is allow me to kind of come out. I could actually come out of this pad like that, but that would effectively I'd be creating a manufacturing sliver here. You can see a very very small distance between the pad and the copper track. It's not a good idea really. Um, so let's just oops that a couple of times, enable the enhanced pad entry, and that would then kind of stop me from making those type of manufacturing errors in the first place. Okay, if I did have that uh, and disabled, and you can do that as a user preference, so if you go to setup and user preferences, we'll go to root and connect, and if we click on the next button, there's one here, options, no enhanced pad entry. If you enable that, it's not enabled by default. So by default, that is enabled when you're routing and sliding, okay? From a DRC point of view, I can check this in a couple of ways. So if I go to um, setup and constraint modes, if we look under the design options, there's something called the acute angle detection. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. So we can look for um, minimum shape edge to edge, minimum line to pad angle, minimum line to shape angle, and minimum line to line angle. There's a little information portal here. Um, you can just hover over, and that will give you a tool tip, some graphical representation, and some ideas. You can set the angles here. So we can obviously, let's just go and turn all these on. If we hit apply. And okay, um, you can see we've got a few locations where we've got some DRC errors. So if we just zoom in here, we can hover over the DRC error. It's gonna show me the issue. Um, so what I could then do is maybe just slide the track across um, to resolve the DRC issue. So you can work around those one by one. So that's option one. Um, the second option, so if you're going to set up constraint modes, we'll just disable that DRC mode. Turn that one off. If we then go back to um, constraint manager, obviously there's some manufacturing uh, options. So under the manufacturing worksheet, we've got uh, copper features, and this allows us to specify um, a minimum angle and a minimum area for acid traps. So um, let's go and create a new rule here. Uh, we'll go and specify maybe the angle is 90 degrees is the, the minimum that we want um, based on a, a one millimeter. We'll then go and apply that to the design. So copper features will apply that to our primary section on the conductors layer. Um, we need to turn the DRC mode on so we can do that from analyze analysis modes or we can literally just right mouse button analyze mode to turn these DRC modes on. If we then go to constraint manager and we'll just update the DRCs. We get a few DRC errors, um, so let's just zoom in and have a look at some of these. So we're looking at that. What, what's actually wrong with that? If we hover over the DRC error, we do actually have a slight um, distance issue with this angle, so 89.96. This this track isn't rooted correctly at 90 degrees, and very difficult to notice that just by looking at it, but this, the DRC error is there to kind of help you find these kind of issues that you've got in your design. Quite useful for your manufacturing process.